Monday morning. Just gone nine o'clock at the desk. Got to do some editing to finish off last week's um, video. I, uh, I got sidetracked last night and fell asleep and I thought I'd just finish it off this morning. However, my laptop is having some repair work on it at the moment. And so you don't realize how much you use one machine. Like with my iMovie, what I use to edit it, all the music and everything is, is on that machine. And like I've got this old one, I've got to try and set it up. I also have the desktop, but the iMovie is not configured. So it's like, ah, what would be a really quick half an hour, an hour's worth of work? It's now gonna potentially take a little bit longer, but it's Monday, it's a new week, it's all good. Whatever it is, I'll figure it out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good week this week. Gotta make it a good week, or at least try. All right, that is Monday over. <clears throat> Just filming outside this evening with the backlights of the front room. Because I noticed when I was shooting something earlier on uh, last week, it wasn't coming out that well. So I had a bit of a play with the settings on the camera today. I've now switched it over to 4K. And there's different modes on this. So a bit of an experiment. Uh, got a good run in this evening. Uh, with the running shop, they do a group run every Monday evening. So that was good. There's no two ways about it. Going out with faster runners is probably one of the best things you can do if you want to improve your fitness, your times, whether it be running or cycling. If you train with people that are fitter, faster and stronger than you, you will benefit, they will pull you along. So yeah, really good. Come back, had some chicken, I've eaten well today. Um, it's quite hungry still, but I'm just gonna go to bed. Now I've got an early start uh, tomorrow. We're gonna shoot up to Gatwick to pick Andy up. He's back from his holiday. And then we've got to get cracking and get more emails out. And uh, yeah, just sort of work on the project really. The Starlink should turn up. Super excited about that. The Starlink should turn up in a couple of days. It's been shipped and I've got the, the notification from DHL as well. So fingers crossed. That's it for another day guys. See you in the morning. Tuesday morning, we're at Gatwick. Just picked up the main man. <laughs> Gonna get back to Windsor. And the day continues. Let's go. Oh, we've been waiting for this for a while, my man. <laughs> I have. So, yes. Internet, yes? Yeah, thank you, sir. What do you need no me to worries. sign? Uh, just right. photo. <laughs> oh, okay. Have a great day. <laughs> and you. See ya. Oh, yes, guys. Wow, there it is. Quite big, isn't it? Tuesday evening, uh, 10 to 8, uh, sorry, 10 to 7, I've got to jump online, just waiting for them to start the meeting. I've got to give a talk uh, about all my previous expeditions and ultimately what I'm doing. This is to um, the marina and all of their berth holders who have boats where mine is kept. So I'm giving a talk on my whole story and what lies ahead of me. Um, I've talked about the project. So we'll get this done and uh, pretty much wrapping up another day. Wednesday morning, back at the desk, getting the emails sent out, getting on top of the stuff that I need to do. Basically pretty much gonna be here most of the day. And th this is, you know, when I'm not out and about, I have to be here doing all the admin and, and things that an organization and stuff that has to be done. It's pretty boring really. But with every job or every profession, there's good parts and then there's boring parts. I'm not really someone that likes to be sat at a desk for too long. I find it quite difficult to concentrate after a few hours, but I just do little bits at a time. Gonna get out for a run later though, to blow the cobwebs away. And uh, later on in the week, we're gonna get down to the boat, start thinking about how we can install that Starlink, which is amazing. That was, it turned up super quick as well. I only ordered it a couple of days ago. So let's knock out some of the things that need to be done now, and then we can maybe do some more exciting stuff later. Yeah. It's day evening. It's about half past 10 at night. Just cooking a bit of steak on the barbecue behind me. 
ended up actually having quite a good day. Uh, I managed to win the day back. Uh, I didn't start that great this morning. I was a little slow getting into the routine and things that I needed to do for today. But um, ticked off some things, uh, which I'm pleased about. Uh, and I got a 10K, kind of like recovery jogging. Uh, heart rate was really low, so, or lower than usual. So I think that's a sign. It's a little bit of an improvement in fitness, which is, is good. Um, and just overall, kind of like feel like I'm finishing the day feeling fairly good. So I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna have my piece of steak, just relax for a little bit. Uh, I won't be able to go to sleep yet. Um, and then I'm up tomorrow for another busy day. But overall, good day guys. And it's always possible to win the day back. I did today. Thursday morning, just gone 9 a.m. Put a little two mile loop in around the local area. Feeling good this morning. Don't really have sore legs. Gonna to get to the post office now, get some books posted. Uh, I'm actually sending some letters out to, to some people I'm trying to get in contact with. You don't really know whether they'll ever get your letter, but if you don't do it, they'll never get it. Uh, and then basically just gonna be at the desk most of the day. I've gotta get more emails out because I'm still prospecting I still need to raise more money. And the only way to do that is to put yourself out there and, uh, and ask. So we're gonna be doing that uh, and I'll go for another run later and then we're over leases tonight and then tomorrow, yeah, we're gonna be down on the boat, which I've been looking forward to uh, all week. All right, let's get this day going. Yeah. I'm not film. I'm not taking photos, I'm actually filming. That's even better. Very good. Perfect, I'm not gonna cut myself on that. That's great. Thanks to Trevor, who has very kindly cut out our Starlink mount. And just on camera, on record, it was actually Trevor who renovated my house, not me. <laughs> there you go. So Trevor is the man. Online. He won't admit to that. There you go, I've just admitted it. Trevor was the one who renovated my amazing house. <laughs> Friday afternoon, we're down at the boat. Regas have been on this morning, they've removed uh, the back runners, which are gonna be replaced. And now we're just working on the mount for the Starlink. The Starlink is gonna go at the back of the boat, and we're just working on mounting that now. It's gonna go here. So we're thinking about redoing this a little bit. There's a carbon pole here. So instead of using this, which is a bit of movement in it, the Starlink would go on top of here. There's another mount. We're gonna potentially make up something to go in here, which is a lot more solid. So a little bit of work left. So I guess what you'll do, you, you'll, you won't untie the lashing, you'll just cut the lashing free and we'll just... Work it out, see how it's yeah. on. Okay. All right. Actually, it's making that look quite easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm gonna have to climb like that. <laughs> Oh, okay. People admitted to hospital with alcohol related conditions in Hampshire is higher. There's all of our new rigging. All this on here, apart from that. Yeah. What's this for me? Yeah. Right, evening back home. It has actually been a very good day. Bit of um, filling around down on the boat. It was good that the riggers were able to come and we made a bit of progress with the mount. <clears throat> I put a run in this evening. Uh, I did some interval training, so didn't go far, but it was high intensity and it certainly uh, gassed my lungs out for sure. I've just done something to eat, I'm now chilling. The plan is to get up in the morning and go for a longer, gentle run, uh, which is what I want to do. So 
I've eaten, I'm now just being lazy and relaxing. I'm gonna get out tomorrow and uh, let's see if we can finish off this week and have a good weekend. Yeah. Saturday morning, it's a great morning. The sun is shining, I was up early, I felt amazing. Uh, been to the gym, lifted some weights, did a few pull-ups. Um, I'm trying to get back into the resistance training a little bit because you benefit from it massively actually, and I do too. I've just been doing more cardio but I've got to get back into to the weights a little bit more. So actually I felt really good. Come back, had a bit of steak on the barbecue. So I've eaten, now we're gonna head down to the boat and carry on playing with the Starlink. Ideally I wanna get it running today. It won't be running on the 12 volt, it won't be running from power from the boat. We're just gonna use shore power today because I just wanna get it running and test it. I'm super excited. Uh, and we're looking at different options with the mount as well. So it's a good start to the weekend. So let's get down to the boat. Ah, who's that? Ah, no one. Yeah. All right, it's that Sunday wrap up time. Yesterday, went down to the boat, started pouring with rain. Didn't end up being particularly productive at all. We couldn't do what we wanted to do. So we literally just had something to eat in the calf and kind of came back, got out for a run. And I've just finished the last run of the week this week. So my mileage has been way down on what it usually is. I think I've only run about 13 miles this week over the course of the week. But I was trying to uh, go a little bit harder and up the intensity and, and do a little bit more sort of interval training to try and start seeing improvement in, in my fitness. And the way to do that uh, is you you've, uh, it's hard and it's quite uncomfortable but you've got to um, incorporate interval training where you are getting your heart rate up and pushing yourself and it's hard and uncomfortable so I haven't been running as far but I have seen some progress so overall on that sense it's been quite a good week diet hasn't been too bad this week I did have a Chinese last night it was good but didn't feel particularly bloated or that I'd overindulged a great deal this morning when I woke up, kind of felt good. Um, over on Friday, I sent a message to someone. A couple of months back, I had an amazing meeting with a CEO and I came away buzzing, thought he was gonna, gonna help uh, with some funding to, to really see off the final costs of the, the, my up and coming trip. Uh, but uh, he hasn't really come back and about a month ago, he said I might come and look at the boat around Easter, and Easter's approaching now, so I sent him a follow-up message just to say, do you wanna come and look at the boat? And uh, you know, have you had any more thoughts on getting involved with the project? He's read the message, uh, because on WhatsApp, so you see the blue two, the two blue ticks, but I have not had a response, and I can't do anything now, so it, it, it would look desperate and, and not particularly professional to keep, um, chasing so I'm just gonna have to leave it now and that's sometimes it's, there's a lot of uncertainty around uh, what I do and trying to seek funding and go out and get it is really really difficult sometimes the the opportunities that you think are going to come good are the ones that don't and perhaps the ones that do are the ones that were hardly on your radar you may have spoken to someone you may have sent an email and just boom they kind of come out of the blue um, so we'll kind of see what happens with that. He might get back to me next week, I hope. But I would probably have to forget about that opportunity now and just move on. And if it comes good, it comes good. He was a super nice guy and we had a great meeting. But um, yeah, it, it is what it is. It was a few months ago now. So things move on and circumstances change. So we'll see what happens. So that's, that is one thing that I'm waiting on. So that could come good next week. Uh, we'll see. And I've got one more week left of March and effectively I'm not going to be working on the boat. I have to sit here and move the project forward uh, in other areas. Uh, so yeah, I, I much prefer being out working on the boat than I do being sat at the desk. It's a bit boring, but it's a really important part of, of the project. I'm effectively juggling everything. Um, it's my responsibility. If it doesn't happen, or if there's an if, if something's not moving as quickly as it should, like it's all my responsibility. So, and obviously I have a responsibility because people have given me money to get to the point where I am. 
but if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, wouldn't they? So got to keep pushing and keep pushing. Uh, I have learned that quite often the best things come just after the, the hardest of times and sometimes after the most dis disappointing of times. So we'll see what unfolds. Uh, I just keep concentrating on doing the work that I know I need to do to get the results I want. And that's an outcome I can, con I can control the amount of work I put into something, but I have no control over whether someone actually invests in the project that's out of my hands. I can try and influence it, of course. So you just have to not overthink it too much. Um, but yeah, it's been a good week, another good week. And uh, the clocks go forward at, uh, next weekend, so the evenings are gonna be brighter. We are moving into the summer, and I have a big trip in May where I take the boat to the Azores and back. And I, yeah, that's gonna happen. I cannot wait for that, so that's my small thing that I'm working towards uh, at the moment. But slowly but surely, we're getting there, guys. All right, have a good one.